everybody and welcome back to another video i know you guys know what time it is if you see the background behind me you'll know that Pentaconi is here and i am super hyped about it i've already started out some of the story but what i have not done yet is get black swan so what we are doing today is going to that warp banner and hopefully securing us home at least one copy of the black swan herself so without further ado let's get in to today's video but before we do that i would like to let you guys know that we are going to be doing a bunch of giveaways we're coming real close to 85,000 subscribers and when we hit it we're going to be giving away a bunch of express supply passes so if you want to support my channel and have a chance to win something cool to maybe help get yourself a black swan make sure to subscribe to the channel anyways let's get in to today's video all right well we have an exciting day ahead of us now before we actually get into testing out black swan wishing for her and all that fun stuff i would just like to say right off the bat that Pentaconi is absolutely gorgeous the neon lights the skyline in the background oh my goodness man i wish i could be here in real life because this place is absolutely stunning i would say this is probably single-handedly my favorite design area in any hoyoverse game now that we're done meat riding hoyoverse let's take a minute to try out the new character black swan truthfully i do not know too much about her kit yet so everything here is going to be pretty new to me um what i'm kind of hoping is that she works with kafka was kind of my idea for her um but we'll see how it goes it looks like she's gonna have some sort of enhanced ability let's see here excessive praise boom let's see what that does oh boy there seems to be a lot here okay we are gonna have a lot to learn today we seem to apply arcana that's a lot of arcana well wow, what is arcana i have no idea unremovable takes wind damage at the start of each turn being afflicted with arcana will also be considered as suffering from wind shear this can stack up to 50 times whoa that's a lot of times so it seems our basic attack and our skill both have a chance of inflicting this little arcana thing our skill also lowers the enemy defense so she's like a pela mixed with a kafka that's crazy and she's flying <laughs> okay let's do this let's apply arcana to all the enemies boom oh look at that and defense reduction how much 19 percent. that's pretty good but if we use our skill again we can keep applying it back up to six and now let's see what our burst does i have no idea what this does we'll figure it out cool animation the gripping of the hands oh my oh my goodness now what did that even do it applied infinity the damage received increases by 22 percent during this unit's turn well in the arcana state which we do have that applied on them this unit is also considered to be simultaneously inflicted with wind shear, bleed, burn, shock, and additionally, after Arcana causes damage at the start of each turn, its stacks don't reset and it can be triggered one more time. That is absolutely huge. So our Arcana stacks no longer reset at the start of the enemy's turn. As you see there, yep, we used one of our stacks of Infinity but we kept our arcana stacks that is so big and if we could just keep doing that and applying arcana stacks i mean this enemy's gonna be dead in no time even with our even with our single target attacks we're applying it wow she may be the best nihility character what an absolutely crazy unit oh my gosh well she isn't the last unit we got we got one other character here and misha who to be honest i'm not that excited about but who knows maybe his kit will change my mind i don't know whenever an ally consumes a skill point this unit will regenerate energy and increase their ultimate hits per action interesting the ultimate can also freeze enemies okay i mean i'll hear him out maybe he's like a super op character and i just don't know it yet let's see we do that we what is this dream prism okay by using that technique we gain something called gonna be late which increases our ultimate hits per action so it seems like his kit is gonna revolve around his ultimate okay let's see here we're gonna use our blast attack is that just a normal blast seems like it but we got more key stacks there in the bottom left we're now up at seven 
Okay. So yeah, his skill is just a normal blast attack, but also increases his ultimate hits per action. Interesting. His talent. Whenever allies consume one skill point, Misha's next ultimate delivers more hits per action. So it seems like we're just trying to stack as many hits per action to do as much damage as possible with his burst attack is kind of what I'm getting here. So let's use our buff on him. And then you know what else we can do is we can lower the enemy's defense with payload. And then do one more little skill here. And now we have 10 hits. And now we use his big blast. Let's see what it does. Okay. Cool little animation. All right. And that was a big 10 hits. He seems to be like a DPS character. And to be honest, four star DPSs are never usually that good in Hoyoverse games. Besides Ching Chui, who is really OP for some reason. Uh, but he seems decent. It's hard for me to really say. I mean, that hit did 16,000. But yeah, his kit just seems very, very simple. It's essentially just building up hits per action, getting it off on the enemy. There really isn't that much to say about it. Definitely not my favorite character in the world, but one I want to collect for my account nonetheless. And I think with that, it's finally time we roll for Black Swan. I don't have really a particular place I want to roll because I don't know too much about Black Swan's lore, if I'm being honest. So we're just going to stand with Penacony in the background with the bright lights, with Jing Liu and her godly presence in the middle here as this strange gentleman just phases through my body. Anyways, it's time to roll, 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 roll. Black Swan. We also have Gwynyphon and Ting Yoon on the banner. Gwynyphon, I have Eidolon 1. Ting Yoon, I have Eidolon 6. So our goals for four stars today are going to be to get a bunch of Gwynyphon Eidolons and at least one copy of Misha. As for our pity, we have no pity at all. We just got Ron May, and now it's time to add Black Swan. To our repertoire of five stars here we go first 10 warp let's see if we can get it early back to back doesn't look like it's gonna happen but there's a lot of four stars we need today and usually i'm unlucky with the four stars but we're gonna get it here early i'm feeling the luck let's go come on now pom pom do not give me ting yoon i do not need her here we go first 10 full and we're already off to a bad start uh it's fine only for, it's only one 10 full we got like 70 more to do probably another 10 warp we keep it moving. Gamba and Gamba City. No luck again. And we get a uh, Herda. What the heck? You weren't on the banner. Get off my screen. You're not meant to be here. Give me Gwynyphon. Give me Misha. Hell yeah. One Gwynyphon copy. We take it. There we go. First dub of the day. One Gwynyphon copy. Let's go. But what we really need is that Misha. We keep going. Black Swan, Misha. Black Swan, Misha. No five star. That's okay. You know, I just met that blonde-haired character, Avatrine, earlier today, and he seemed to be like the Gamba King. So I was hoping he'd maybe give me a bit of luck, but it doesn't seem to be coming through so far. And also, I'd like to say that character looks like he is pure evil. Did anyone else see that man's eyes? Meshing Cogs, Amber, Misha, please. I need Misha. I still don't have him. Please. Nope. That's another Herda. Stop giving me Herda. What the heck? Enough with the Herda. She ain't on the banner. We keep going. Early. Please, early. 48. Screw you. Oh, I hate pity. Why can't the pity system be like 20? We keep going. Conductor Pom Pom, lead me home to Amisha. There we go. We got Misha. There we go. We don't got to worry about the four star no more. We take that. By the way, I love the little cats in his splash art here. They're cute. I like that. Now, all we want is Eidolons for those two characters. And then we get Eidolon 6 when I fin. We get Eidolon 6 Misha. I go home happy. Not going to be in this 10 pull though. Our next one, I think this is 58 pity, maybe 58, 68. Uh, not a five star is what this pity is. Uh, another Misha. Let's go. That's two Mishas in the bag, except he's the one pushing the bags. God, that was a stupid joke. Can I get double four stars, please? Double four star? No? Okay, that's cool. Luckily, I think this is the last 10 pull before hard pity. We do not have the guaranteed, but we do have the luck of Black Swan on our side and Avertreen. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Anyways, no four, no five star again. God damn, man. 
We got another Gwenaifen. Cool. I think that's E3 Gwenaifen. We take it. I, I like that we're not seeing too many Ting Yoons. I will take that 100%. Can I get double? Double. Double D's. No, we get single. Like me. All right. I think this is hard pity. I, I think it's hard pity at this point. I need to win this 50-50. Please, for the love of all things holy. 50-50 win. Here we go. Come on. We got the five star, baby. Come on. That's that's the five star. Come on now. Ooh, we're going to need this 50 50 badly. I want to win this. I'm saving up for Sparkle. So I need to win the 50 50 here today. Gamble luck is on our side, and we're going to get another Ting Yoon. That, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. We got, the, we got the three stars we wanted. The last thing we need is our Black Swan. I got another swan just yesterday when I rolled for Cloud Retainer. We're rolling for another swan today. Let's get it. That ain't it. That still ain't it. <laughs> Please. No. To the swan gods. Please don't let me down again like you did on that last banner when you gave me Chi Chi and I lost my mind. Bring her home. Nihility, baby. Well, it was Nihility, but it was a three star. Now it's our five star. Come on. Man, stop playing with me. And we get the black swan. Boom. The groove takes it over. We'll wait and see. Even I might blank out you and me. Nihility? Yes! We won! Yes! We won our 50-50! Come on! Oh, we did it! And we get a Misha! We'll take that! Let's go! And that, my friends, is what I would consider to be a pretty stacked 10 pull. My goodness, we won for Black Swan, and my Sparkle savings are looking pretty damn good. Where is she? Black Swan. Oh, there you are! Finally! I can't wait to pair you with some of my other Nihility units, man. You're going to be such a powerful character. We got to get your Light Cone. We got to do everything. In fact, let's just get your Light Cone real quick with a simple little wish here. Bing, bang, boom. Just bring it home for me quickly. Okay, I thought. Anyways, with that, I think we're going to end the video there for today. We got our Black Swan. And you know what else we brought home was, if we go to Gwenaifen, we got one and two little constellations, or I mean Eidolons for her. To be honest, I kind of want a couple more, but I'm not too worried about it. Gwenaifen, I think, will be okay. And we'll get a couple more banners. We also got Misha, who got one and two more Eidolons, which probably won't ever be used because, uh, to be honest, he looks a, a little mediocre. But... I guess that's for you guys to make your own judgment. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to see you guys all in the next one. Anyways, peace.